Hey everybody, John here from IncomeMesh.com. Welcome into February 2020. This is my first video of the month. And in this quick video, I wanna share with you two big ideas to help you simplify and grow your online business. So let me just ask you a quick question first. How did January go for you? If you felt a little bit like you're trying to boil the ocean, it's probably because you had that fire of a new year, you had all this new ambition of what you wanted to do. You might've tried to implement a few different strategies, a few different traffic sources, a few different products. You probably tried to do a lot this month. Am I right? Leave a comment down below how January went for you. If you had a lot of new goals, a lot of new initiatives, or if you were just hunkering down on what had already been working. Personally, for me, had a fantastic month. Earned more in January than I did in any other single month in the prior year. Why did that happen? Well, in 2020, one of my big focuses is on Essentialism, which is a book that I read really not too long ago. I'll put a little uh, image here. If you haven't read this book, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to pick it up or read it on Audible or however you want to consume it. But it's by Greg McEwen and a really, really great influential book. You can learn a lot about business, about life in general, especially as a parent, as a busy parent with three little kids over there and trying to run two full businesses with my wife at home. Uh, essentialism is a huge part of our life. And I attribute a lot of my success for January as well as for the rest of the year to this book. And I wanna share with you why in two simple graphics, okay? So who is this for? So this is for anybody who feels like they have a lot of ambition, but maybe not the right direction in their online business. If you feel like you're running and running and running, if you're on that hamster wheel, this is going to help you really clarify what you should be working on and what maybe you should let go. So let me ask you a quick question. Do you kind of feel like this circle over here where this is you, where this is you, you are this mass of confusion, you are this mass of energy and you have so many ideas. Maybe you wanna be able to do client work. Let's think, for example, you're trying to make money. So you're trying to do client work over here. Then over here, maybe you have some affiliate marketing opportunities where there's some amazing things you'd love to refer and promote. And you also wanna blog four times a week down here to be able to get traffic and get Google ad revenue and et cetera, et cetera. And also, oh, by the way, you have this great idea for a course, so you wanna go ahead and launch a course as well. You have all these amazing ideas, all these different products, all these different monetization strategies, and any one of them can be successful. But what is the problem? If you are this massive ball of energy, you know, these massive balls of energy, they can take some time to move and make, take some time to make forward progress in any one direction. But what happens if all the directions in which you're trying to push that ball are going all over the place? If they're in every possible different direction you can imagine, well, the ball's not going to go anywhere, right? Like, where's this ball gonna go? Nowhere, because you're pushing in every different direction. This can be the case with any monetization strategy, any traffic strategy, basically anything you are trying to do with your business, if you try to spread yourself too thin, and if you try to go off in all these different directions, where are you gonna go? Nowhere, right? So let's contrast that to this circle. Now let's just imagine for the sake of uh, scale here that you are the exact same circle, you've got the exact same amount of time, the exact same energy, the exact same budget to spend on your business, but instead of going off in all these different directions over here, you decide to focus and focus all of the energy that you would do in any one of these directions into a single direction, a single vector, right? So let's say, for example, all the energy you would have put into affiliate marketing, you put directly into whatever that thing is. Let's say that that thing is launching your first online course and marketing the heck out of it. At the end of one month, one year, one decade, which one of these different models, which one of these circles do you feel is going to go further and faster? I can almost guarantee you it's gonna be this guy right here because you have basically said no to anything that is not essential. And that is essentialism, right? There's a ton of amazing nuggets in this book. I recommend you guys pick up a copy or just listen to it. I think it's at your local library as well, which my wife and I, even though we make millions online, we still go to our library and we have a few late fees we need to get rid of, but we love our library and I recommend you guys do it as well. A little public service announcement. You're already paying for it with your taxes anyways. Use it. All right, so that's essentialism kind of in a nutshell of saying no to anything that is not in the absolute yes direction. You know, there's the saying, if it's not a heck yes, it's a heck no. So uh, that is something that I'm embracing this year. I recommend you guys take a look at it, look at your own business, give yourself an audit, and I'm gonna give you a criteria in which you can apply this to your business right now. So this is what I like to call the five ones. I did not invent this. I've heard this on several podcasts uh, in several different books in different forms and formats. So 
I don't know who to give proper credit to this, but it's an amazing idea. It's a little extreme, but let me go and walk you through this. So the idea of five ones is in your business. If you want to focus, if you feel like you are this previous circle over here, if you feel like you're this guy, take a look at this next strategy and think if it could work in your business and where and how you would apply it. So the idea of five ones is you're only going to focus. You're only allowed to think about and focus and work on a single product. If you have a dozen different courses and 30 different printables and 14 different coaching packages and different variations of everything, get rid of all of them and think about if you could only work on one product, what would that be? If you could only work it on one traffic source, what would that be? Whether it's YouTube marketing, like what I'm doing right now with you, or if it's paid Facebook traffic, or if it is doing joint webinars with other influencers, whatever the case might be, one traffic source one conversion mechanism and what is a conversion mechanism that would be one opt-in one cheat sheet one five-day challenge one email marketing course one something that is worth getting people into your funnel into your sales process and also that conversion mechanism can extend into the actual sales process itself you know one sales page one email flow to get people from being a subscriber into a customer one conversion mechanism one avatar Avatar. No, they're not the big blue giants from that movie a long time ago, which I think the second one's coming out, which is pretty exciting. But avatars, who are you marketing to? Are you marketing to professional entrepreneurs who are already entrepreneurs? Are you marketing to women who are mothers who are over the age of 30? Are you marketing to people who are in corporate America trying to release themselves and start entrepreneurship? What is your one avatar? And the kicker, and absolutely the hardest one of all of these, is one year. Whatever you select in these uh, little drop downs here and all these different options, pursue that for one year. That's a challenge. Can you do it? Think about it though. Even if, yeah, this is a challenge, this is hard, this is not going to be a walk in the park for anybody, but you are becoming this circle. You're able to systematically take whatever has not been working for you and Give yourself the ability to say goodbye to it. Give yourself the ability to put it off to the side and focus in on a new, stronger direction. And that, my friends, is one of the secrets. It's not really a secret. We all know this, but we feel that this hustle movement is out there. This, you know, I like to think of it. Let me see if I can clear this thing off here. Like this idea over here, this I would kind of equate to that Gary V hustle, hustle, hustle mindset. And while I love Gary V, he's a huge motivator. You have to be careful with some of the advice that you're hearing online when people tell you, you just got to put in the hour, got to put in the work, got to put it, put it, put in. But where are you putting that effort towards? Are you putting it into a single direction or are you putting it all over the place? Challenge yourself to look at your business, see if it's going in the right direction. And could it be going farther, faster if you were to go from the model on the left over to the model on the right? All right, guys, I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. Just a quick little motivation for you this week. I hope this really resonates with you. Leave a comment down below in which of these circles are you? Are you the guy all over the place or are you the guy who has a single focus and you're moving towards it? Let me know how either strategy is working for you down in the comments below. If you haven't been on the channel before, be sure to subscribe, like, the bell, all that cool stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.